Have you ever looked at a lens and thought, why does it have 10 million different letters in it? And what do they all mean? Well, worry no more because I've done all of the research so you don't have to. Yes, seriously, I'm gonna take you into some serious detail here. I've got my cold brew, so get ready because I'm gonna take you on the camera abbreviation jargon ride slash fever dream of your life. So get ready. Oh, it's really good. And as there's so many different variations between each brand, I'm gonna be grouping them into different categories, otherwise we'll be here forever. So we're gonna start with image stabilization. Now image stabilization is usually found in longer lenses like a 70 to 200 or a 100 to 400 for example, as every small movement is made so much bigger when your focal length is that longer. So with Canon and OM, they call it IS for image stabilization. We've got Sony over here that call it OSS for optical steady shot, Nikon VR for vibration reduction, Fujifilm OIS for optical image stabilization, Sigma, they call it OS for optical stabilization, Tamron have gone a bit different, vibration compensation, and Lumix have gone crazy. O.I.S. dot for optical image stabilization, then power O.I.S. dot for more, and then they have the final boss of IS with mega O.I.S. dot. Different names from each brand, but if you see any of these letters on the lenses you're buying, it's got image stabilization, it's image stabilized have a heart attack. And now let's say you've got landed the photography or videography job of your dreams and they're going to be paying you the big bucks. Well, first off, congratulations. I'm very jealous. Second, if you need a second shooter, give me a call. And thirdly, you maybe want some top line glass to wow them, but you're not sure what the best of the best from your desired brand is. Well, luckily each brand has their signature line that means they can guarantee it's their best optical quality that they have to offer. For Canon, look for an L in the name, which literally stands for luxury. Or if you come into the B&H Superstore and you wanna have a look at the Canon lenses, you'll see a red ring around the front, and that's when you know it's an L series lens. The Sony G Master lineup have the abbreviation GM in their name, and they also have an orange G on the side of their lenses. Nikon's flagship lenses are their S line. Sigma, they have their art lenses. Fuji have their XF line. Lumix's flagship S-Line are great lenses, and OM Systems have their Juico lenses, which literally translates to light of the gods. So you could say they're pretty confident in the quality of their glass. I've got ice in my mouth again. Can you hear that? Are you still with me? Good, because we're not even close to being done. Next, we're gonna be talking through sensor coverage. Certain lenses are designed for crop sensor cameras in mind and they're usually smaller, lighter, and more affordable. And of course, because we have different camera brands, we couldn't quite agree on what to call them now, could we? So let's go through them all. So all Canon mirrorless lenses have the RF mount. RF lenses will work on both full frame and APS-C cameras. However, RF-S lenses will only work on APS-C style cameras. Sony's full frame lenses have FE in their name and an APS-C lenses start with E. Nikon lenses that cover full frame cameras will have FX in their name and DX for APS-C cameras. All Fujifilm lenses in their XF line are APS-C lenses, as all X-mount Fuji cameras have APS-C sensors. Nice uniformity there, Fujifilm. If you've ever heard us say DGDN, 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 DGDN for Sigma lenses, that's a full frame lens. And DCDN is for APS-C lenses. The DN stands for Digital Neo, which means they are for mirrorless cameras. Leica's lenses for their SLR full-frame cameras have R in their name. Tamron have DI3 for full-frame mirrorless lenses and DI3A for their APS-C mirrorless lenses. Oh, we'll do it live. We're not doing it live. It's about 100 takes. So now we're gonna deal with the focusing motors and some brands deem this really important to put in the names of their lenses and some don't. So we're gonna go through with what we have. Canon really loves putting these in the names of their lenses. So STM is for stepping motor. And this is usually found in their lowest cost lenses like the 50 mm f 1.8. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still excellent for autofocusing, but you can definitely hear it when it's trying to find focus. USM, however, is for their ultrasonic motor, which is even faster and quieter for better autofocusing. And you can usually find this motor in all of the L series lenses. 
VCM is actually found only in their latest lens, like the 35mm 1.4. It stands for Voice Coil Motor, and this is for rear focusing, allowing for smoother transitions to focusing on the subject, perfect for video shooters. But this lens also has the USM to drive the floating element, so this is a fantastic lens for autofocusing. Sony, they don't really put the focusing motor on any of the names of their lenses, but if you're having a look around the B&H website and you'll find that all of their GM lenses, which stands for, yes, G-Master, good job, have the XD linear motor. Nikon also doesn't have it on their lenses, but their most expensive lens, the 600mm f4, has an, I quote, silky swift VCM autofocus system. And that just sounds lovely and fantastic. And you're gonna get fantastic focus with that. LM on a Fujifilm lens, that is telling you that it has linear motors. Fujifilm, again, a voice of reason, even though they have great autofocusing lenses. So I think they're actually being quite modest here by not putting anything like Ultra or Uber or something like that elk in the name of their focusing motor. Sigma, however, are bragging to everyone about how good their focusing motors are. And they're not wrong. The autofocus system on Sigma lenses are fantastic. They're great, but with a name like hypersonic motor or HSM, they had no choice but to deliver on super fast autofocus. And good job, Sigma. You definitely did it. Tamron also has a great name. If you ever see VXD, that stands for Extreme Torque Drive Linear AF Motor. Again, they deliver on that name with great autofocus and that is my personal favorite. For all the other brands, I couldn't find any name with letters on for their focusing motors, but now you know more than you ever thought you would and probably would have liked to have known about focusing motors, so you're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Like here, just do this. Now, finally, we have some honorable mentions I kept seeing pop up when I was doing all my research for this, and I thought I should give these a mention. So if you see WR on a Fujifilm lens, that means that they're weather resistant. So they can survive some of the toughest conditions and elements that you throw them in. So if you're in the Antarctic, snow and blizzard, they've got you covered. Sigma telephoto lenses like the 70 to 200, the 500 millimeter prime or their 60 to 600 one and done lens have sport on them instead of the art lens. But I would say they are their flagship lenses in terms of optical quality. Sigma are just giving you a bit of a suggestion of what you should use them for. They can, however, make art. And if you want proof of that, Maria and Matt took some unbelievable photos with them in our latest series that we shot in Iceland earlier this year. And if you haven't already, go check that out right here. TC means it has a built-in teleconverter, like the 150 to 400 millimeter M Juico lens from OM System. And you can check the other Matt use this incredible lens a lot in our Acadia Bird series right here again. Yes, another shameless plug, but I think they're fantastic videos. I know that you're gonna enjoy watching them. We certainly had so much fun shooting them. Now Leica have had so much fun with naming their lenses because of course they have. So if you see APO, that means it's been apochromatically corrected. And that basically means it produces sharper lenses without color fringing, which is a fantastic thing. You can see that on the Q343. Another Leica abbreviation is ASPH or ASF, means a spherical design. This means at least one element in the lens doesn't have a constant radius. So it's not a perfect circle basically. It guides the light differently through the lens creating a sharper image in a more compact body that would otherwise be impossible to achieve with all spherical elements. So there you have it. Hopefully I've covered all bases here and answered all the questions about the lenses you want to buy and all of the abbreviations in their name. But if somehow I've missed an abbreviation and you still want to know the answer to that, drop that in the comments below and I'm sure to get those answered for you. But in the meantime, however, my name is Matt. I'm gonna go to sleep for about three days now but thanks for watching. Oh, thank God. Cheers.